Welcome to Learn Commerce PU Online Classes. forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates. Hello everyone, welcome to First PUC Statistics Online Classes. In the previous class, we had discussed about some important problems of formation of discrete frequency distribution. In this class, we are going to discuss the remaining important problems of formation of free discrete frequency distribution. In that, problem number 4, that is a review of the 30 pages of a statistics book reveals the following printing mistakes prepare frequency table see here some observations are given so let's see the solution part so first first step what is the first step we need to find range so what is the formula to find range that is highest value minus lowest value so see in this problem highest value is 6 isn't it yeah 6 is highest value so here I in, uh, in the highest value I will write 6, 6 minus lowest value. So here lowest value is 0, so here I will write 0. So highest value minus lowest value that is 6 minus 0 is 6 only. So here range is 6, see here size is very small, the range size is very small. Therefore we can go with, we can prepare discrete frequency distribution table, see first column okay in the in our to prepare to form a discrete frequency distribution there are three columns are there first column is variable second column is tally bar and last column is frequency and we know that free variable is denoted by x then here i will write tally bar and the last column is frequency and frequency denoted by f so see here the range is 6 so here i will Lowest value is 0, so I will start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, here the last value is 6 because here highest value is 6. So I will stop here, 6. Next, how to put tally marks? See, here the first observation is 0, so in print of 0 I will put 1 mark. Next is 1, next is 3, 3, 2, here 5. 6, 0, 1, 0, 4, 1, 1, 0, 2, 3, 2. See here, yeah, here it is 2, no? 2, 5, here, here 4 marks are over, the fifth one is like this. Next is 4, 2, Again 2, next is 3, again 3, 4, 6, 1, 4, 3 and 2. Okay, now next I will write frequency. So frequency in the sense what number of times observation repeated, number, time, number of times and then variable repeated. So this tally bar also shows, here tally bar shows that. So here number of times, uh, yeah, number of observations, how many times repeated. So here 0 repeated 5 times. So in under frequency, I will write 5 because it is C 1, 2, 3, 4. This bar is, this cross, yeah, this, this also countable here. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So frequency is 5. So in the sense what? 0 repeated 5 times. Here 1, see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here 1 repeated 5 times. So here I will write 5. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 plus 1. So, in the sense what? 6 times 2 repeated. So, here I will write 6. Then here 3 repeated 6 times. And 4 repeated 4 times. And two, 5 repeated 1, 2, 2 times. And 6 repeated 2 times. And this total should be, and we know that total frequency is denoted by capital letter N. Then that this total should be 30. Because here 30 number of observations are there. So, here number of observation is 30. So, this total should be equal to 30. Okay, that I will check now. It is 5 plus 5 plus 6 plus 6 plus 4 plus 2 plus 2. See, this is also 30. 
Okay, this is problem number four. This is the form this is discrete uh, frequency formation of discrete frequency distribution to problem number four. Next move to problem number five. That is following are the ages of school children of a lower primary class. Observation given below. Prepare frequency table. See here some observations are given. So what is the first step, student? First step we need to find range. So what is the formula to find range? That is highest value minus lowest value. See in this given observation, highest value is nine and lowest value is zero. So nine minus zero is nine. So here range is nine. See. Here nine, nine also the small size. So see a range as a small size, isn't it? So we can write nine observation here in a variable column. So variable is denoted by x. So that is first column. Second column is tally bar. Third column is frequency. So here variables are like this. See here value starts from zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, up to nine. Because your highest value is nine, so I will stop here. Nine. So next tally bars like this. See the first observation that is one. So in front of one, I will put one. Next is five. In front of five, one. Next is three. Next is one. Next is one. Next is one. Next seven, next nine, six, <coughs> one. That is like this. Next nine, three, five, zero, seven, one, six, one, one, seven, nine, eight. One, one, eight, one, one, nine. So next value is six. So here one mark. Next is four. So here one mark. Okay. Now I will write frequencies. So frequencies are like this. See, here one zero repeat only one time. So here it is one. Then here one repeat. Five plus five. See, this is one set is five, and this is one set is five. So five plus five plus two. So one repeats twelve times. Then here two repeats zero times because here there is no tally mark. So here two in the sense here two repeats zero times. Three repeats two times. One repeats sorry four repeats one time. Then five repeats two times. Six repeats three times. And seven repeats three times, eight repeats two times, and nine repeats four times. Then we know that total frequency is denoted by capital letter Y. And see here number of observation. They didn't. We don't know. So here now don't know the number of observation that I will count now. That is one plus five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 16 seventy 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 see here 30 number of observations are therefore the total frequency also equal to 30 so that i will check now that is 1 plus 12 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 that is is equal to 30 okay this is a a uh, formation this is a formation of discrete frequency distribution yes thank you for watching this video don't forget to like our video and subscribe our youtube channel for all the updates